of a property owned by Mr. and Mrs. James Ferguson. Well, the creatures became something of a local attraction, but the escapade could have had serious consequences. Glenn Cochran reports. Several attempts were made to capture the animals over the years, and finally a crew from AAA Wildlife Control in Scarborough corralled the three creatures after an eight-hour chase on the Ferguson property. Efforts had been stepped up after reports that some people, including Mr. Ferguson, had been bitten by the monkeys, and that has a tragic potential. Toby Stiles, Metro Zoo. One of the problems with monkeys is they quite often carry diseases that are very communicable to humans, and uh, macaque monkeys particularly, which the Japanese macaque is one, carry a herpes virus, which is fatal in humans. I mean, you die from it. So, I mean, they really are a risk. In, in zoos, we, we, we keep them very, very carefully, very strict rules about how they're handled and, and wearing rubber gloves and that sort of thing. Blood samples of the three were taken today at the Metro Zoo, which has its own collection, and results will be known next week. They are eventually destined for a wildlife center in the metro area. Snow monkeys are found in a mountainous area of Japan and can cope with cold temperatures. In the wild, they exist on tree bark and various fruits. Their natural enemies are eagles, bears, and wolves, and they have an average lifespan of 40 years. Glenn Cochran, CFTO News.